Let me guess, you're someone who has been on so many different diets, tried many different kinds of workouts, but there are still no abs showing on your belly. If that is the case, then keep watching this video because I'm going to show you some of the biggest secrets on how you are going to get your abs. <laughs> Welcome back guys, I'm really glad that you're here. Today I will be discussing a topic which is very, very, very much requested and that is how to lose belly fat. So this is something that I know everyone, like not everyone, but a lot of people is struggling with, especially someone who has been into training for a while and they made progress, but there is still that little bit of extra in the abdominal area. But don't worry, we are going to change that. Before I get into this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video again. First thing that I really have to put out here is that you cannot really spot reduce fat. What you can do is reduce your overall body fat percentage. And then after doing so, you can actually uh, reduce body fat from certain parts of the body. So to start with, I want to put out what are actually the factors that influence your body fat percentage, which is actually influencing the amount of fat that you have around your abdominal area. So first thing which people actually like forgets about is genetics. By a research that I found, genetics has a big influence on where you store fat. For example, it has been proven that women store most of their uh, body fat around their hips, while men have most fat around their abdominal area. And if you want to read more about this research, I will link it down below so that you can read it for yourself. So yes, genetics has a big influence, we cannot change it, but what we can control are two other factors and those are diet and your activity. So the thing that you have to put in mind when you're trying to lose body fat is that you have to be in a caloric deficit. If you are a beginner, what you are looking for is actually body recomposition. Changing percentages of your fat mass, lean mass, and water in the body. So uh, if you're a beginner, changing these percentages will be much easier for you, especially if you're someone also who wishes to lose weight. But if you're someone that has been training for a while now, changing these percentages may be a bit more challenging because your body is used to the activities, to your diet and to everything that you've been doing for a while now. And then if you are someone who still wishes to lose that little bit of fat that you have around your belly, what you should do is try different types of diets like intermittent fasting, keto diet, or maybe even carb cycling, which can bring your body into a position where it has like a challenge and it has to adapt to what you're giving to it. By a research that I found, the best thing when you're trying to lose fat and it's the main thing that you have to focus on is caloric deficit. And another thing when choosing a diet on which you should focus on is having a high protein intake. By the end of the research, what they found is that if you keep a high protein intake during your day, no matter which diet you follow, you will be able to lose body fat. Another thing which can really help with fat loss are supplements. Arsenia cambogia and chromium picolinate. Chromium picolinate is just a mineral which your body actually needs and it can help with your sugar cravings and hunger levels. And once you consume it, you will be able to control those two things and you will be able to stick to your diet 
so that you can stay in a caloric deficit and that way you will be able to lose fat. And the third thing, which actually does affect the amount of belly fat that you store and keep in your abdominal area, are two hormones, and those are insulin and cortisol. And the last thing I will be discussing is your exercise. So you do have to know that if you are not exercising, you are spending less. So if you're spending less and if you're intaking more than you spend, you will not be able to lose fat. So doing certain exercises like resistance training can help you increase the amount of calories that you spend during your day which is basically going to increase your resting metabolic rate and by doing so you will spend extra calories which can serve you as a deficit of calories so you will be let's say spending uh, 1800 calories and by the end of the day you will intake only 1600 so once there is like that slight deficit of calories of let's say 200 to 300 calories which is recommended you will be able to lose fat as i said you are not able to spot reduce fat but once you start recomposing your body and once you start increasing your lean mass and start losing your fat mass you will be able to see your abs why because your body fat percentage will decrease the type of workout which is recommended for fat loss is resistance training why well basically resistance training actually causes muscle hypertrophy and when that happens your muscles are growing which means that you're increasing your lean mass and when you're increasing your lean mass means that you have more muscle in your body and that means that you will be spending more energy because having more muscle means spending more energy during your day. A lot of people think that cardio is the best option for fat loss, but in a research that I found, and I will link it down below, it actually has been proved the opposite. They compared resistance training and they compared cardio, and resistance training has a better option when it comes to losing fat. However, if you want to do some cardio, that is more than welcome, and a type of cardio workout that you can do, are HIIT workouts, which are high intensity interval trainings. They're amazing for your health and for your heart. And if you're someone who really likes doing certain cardio exercises and you like to get that heart rate up, then these uh, type of workouts have been actually proved to help with fat loss. So now that you have an idea of how to reduce body fat in your body, another thing which is recommended to lose belly fat are exercises which will target your abs. And the best exercises to do are planks, hanging leg raises, tier X spikes, bicycle crunches, side crunches, and many other exercises. But do keep in mind that abs are one muscle which have different parts. So if you do only one exercise, you will not be able to target exactly in the same amount one part of the ab muscle. But if you do different variations of exercises, you will be able to target your abs. However, also keep in mind that only doing exercises for your abs will not give you abs. I hope that you learned something from this video and that you found certain ideas and tricks which you are going to use in order to lose your belly fat. And if you have any question or video requests, leave them down below and I will reply to each of your questions as soon as possible. I will see you very soon in another video.
Bye, guys.